Where? I'm Sevelia and this is... I'm Sean with Fast Sideways. Awesome. And so you're going to be my instructor in the car for yes. today at Laguna Seca. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is my first time at Laguna Seca, but I've been on a track about four or five times. Yep. I've done Thunder Hill a couple of times and Button Willow once. Excellent. So yeah, we have a great starting position here. When you when you take a Fast Sideways course here at Turn 8 Track Days, not only do you get a discount, but the whole her first half of the day, uh, you have a private instructor that you can talk to about the entire day, whatever your needs might be. For example, you signed up for beginner one, yes. we're not gonna be in beginner <laughs> one. I'm moving her up to beginner two so that we have some time to go out on the track in an open session um, where I can really teach and help her refine her driving ability where she's not just stuck behind a bunch of cars. So Yeah, because with turn eight, when you're doing beginner one, it's all lead and follow with instructions, usually groups of four or five at a time. Yeah, right? so, so Fast Sideways, we have a beginner program here. It's completely free when you sign up for beginner one at turn eight track days, uh, you'll have a Fast Sideways instructor you'll have a small group of people about four people that you'll be learning track etiquette with you'll be learning the line with and then you'll go over small group meetings for the first two sessions of the day uh, it's really really good to help your advancement as a driver really early so everyone's on the same page right out of the gate when you sign up privately though you get a lot more than that you get you get you get the whole first half of the day essentially one-on-one -on -one to cater to your specific needs awesome yeah this will be my first time having an instructor in the car so I, I'm excited I'm nervous but I'm also excited. Excellent. Well, let's go have a fun day. <laughs> Time for the beginner meeting. Green, go. Checkers, you're done. Look out. Subi on track. Evo on fire. You suck. You're slow. Got it? Meaning how this track functions, whatever track we're going to, and how we're going to approach it. Laguna Seca specifically is a really, really, really precise track in the sense of when, when you're turning in, when you start your turn, you have to pick it at the right time. Now this is the same for a lot of other racetracks too, right? But this one specifically is a lot more punishing if you don't get it right. And feel it out. And I'm just gonna observe how you drive. Yeah, that's fine. So we're just gonna get a feel for the line. So actually I'll kind of just talk you through it as we go. You already have an idea on how to set up these corners from our talk earlier, right? So we go outside, inside, outside and we want to be driving around the corner, remember that. So yeah, this is the blend line, so as we come in here, good job with your hands, I like that. I we're gonna, we're, to yeah, we're gonna stay left here. Yeah, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be turn three here. So we're always looking down the track, so go ahead and turn in. And remember, we want to drive at the second half of the corner. There we go, all the way in. And then let it out, look down the track. There we go, nice and smooth, just like that. See that flag station there? So we're going to be identifying those, right? Look down the track, get to this apex, all the way, all the way, all the way. There we go, just like that. Now drive, you see how we're already lined up towards the exit? So you can start releasing the wheel and get moving. So yeah, it's going to be our turn five flagger there. Or uh, turn four flagger, sorry. Now we're coming up on turn five. Oh, so these are braking markers. So this just gives you a visual reference on where you could start braking. So turn five does not have a flagger, see that? Yeah, get all the way into that rumble strip. Look down the track. See how we're here a little bit early and the car's nose is still kind of pointed off track? Yeah. We're going to come all the way over here. That's the sound booth right there off to our right. And now see how I was talking about the elevation? We're driving up a hill. Yeah. This is going to be a left turn here. It's kind of hard to see until you set up for it. And then you turn in. Get all the way in. Yeah. And then drive it out. It's going to be more of a gradual turn than it looks. You don't need to be as sharp with it. No flagger up here, see that station? So yeah, here we set up left. And then this is gonna be a small little curve to the right. This is the corkscrew, this is the corner everyone loves. So there's a flag station there, hold right, I get on the brakes a bit. And now we're gonna turn in and hold left, hold left, hold left, aim at those two trees, and now we turn right. And we get, yeah, you see that? And let it out, let it, there we go. And then we're back on the gas, we bring it over to the right. Yeah, bring it all the way over. There we go, now look down the hill. We're aiming for that, that mark. Go, turn in. Yeah, see how you're driving around the corner there? Look at that. See how our nose is pointed down the track? Drive all the way out, all the way out. And then we bring it over. Yeah, just like that. Same thing here. We start over on the right, go all the way in, get it in there. In, 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 in. Now gas, 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 all the way out. Yeah, feel free to let the car out to the, to the exit. It'll make everything way smoother and quicker. See our turn 11 flagger there? Go ahead and brakes, brakes, hard, 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 hard. This is the sharpest corner and slowest corner on the track here. See that, and then all the way out. 
Very nice. And that's one lap around Laguna Seca. Green flag means we have an open session now. Let's go ahead and try and get in front of this group here. So just keep it moving. Yeah, you're good. So it's up over the hill, down to the left, and we want to stay right here. And this is going to be a big hairpin corner. So there's going to be two apexes to it, technically. Yeah. Yeah, so all the way in, and I'll hold it in. Hold it, hold it, and we're going to aim for the second one, too. This second one is more important than the first one. And then let it all the way out, all the way out, all the way out. There we go. Now we're going to bring it over to the left side. Yeah, very good. Now always look down the track. Where do you want to be? Mm-hmm. All the way in, point the nose down the track, let it out. There we go. See that? See how you let the car out? Now you can, perfect. There you go. All right, so All right. Sevilla did really well on her first session out on Laguna Seca Raceway. That was her first time ever on the course. I was really, really excited to see her hand positioning. She was never crossing up, which is something uh, a lot of new people tend to do. She had really good control over the car, really smooth with her line. Uh, it's, it's good that her fundamentals of how to take a line are there. Uh, we just went over there, we, we went over uh, some theories of the corners, of all different kinds of corners that we're going to experience here on Laguna Seca Raceway, and how to approach them. This next session, we're going to be working on mid-corner speed. Her exit is looking really good. We're not going to be utilizing our braking zone quite yet until we figure out where we need to be in the middle of the corner. So this next session, it's all going to be focusing on keeping that line figuring out your timing adjustments for how fast you're going in the corner and then working in that speed until we're listening to the tires. Yeah, uh, I, I definitely need to work on braking less, but also need to work on trusting the grip of my tires and what I'm hearing versus yeah. I'm uh, anticipating the turn too much. Yeah, yeah. another thing a lot of new people face, anticipating corners. So you're approaching it, you're coming in, and you slowly start working the wheel in too soon. What you're doing is you're eliminating your angle of entry into the corner, you're not giving yourself any room, and it's forcing you to slow down significantly. So we're working on patience, being patient, waiting for the corner, driving around it at the backside of the apex. You ready for session two? Yes. All right, let's go do it. Let it out, let it out, there we go. You're doing really good. We're still building that speed, right? Getting more comfortable going fast. Stay on that throttle. We're on the throttle, we're on the brake. I want you braking here. Keep gas, 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 gas. Won't you brake in here like you did in turn two? Where you get on him, on him, on him. Hard, 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 hard. There we go, that's what we want. Beautiful, turn in, we're at the right speed. Wait, patient, go. Yes, perfect. Back to the gas, stay on the gas, stay on the gas, stay on the gas. Nice, stay on the gas. All right, now wait, wait right here, and now we go. Don't brake, don't brake, don't brake. I want you on the gas right now. Gas, 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 gas. Look at that. See that? Nice. No brakes, no brakes, no brakes. Go, direct. Go, 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 go. There we go, let it out. Yes, there we go. Now we're going faster, so what do we need? Yes. Oh, you're, you're doing that. That was much better speed there. Get comfortable with that, that's good. Remember, work it in just a little bit of steering angle. We're gonna bring it in towards these cones, right? And then it's gonna place us back over here where we wanna be. No, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. See, this is gonna be some understeer here, but we'll get to experience that. There we go, there's the tires. Gas, gas, gas. Very nice, good smooth work with your hands. That's perfect. So wait, be direct. I want you turning, turn, really turn with a purpose. There we go, all the way in. Same here, turn with a purpose. Get it all the way down and turn in sharp, sharp, sharp. Go, 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 go. All the way in, there we go, that's better. Yes, there's the speed. Okay, now bomb into, I want you to go, 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 go. Now on the brakes, like turn two. Yes, that's braking. And see, we got it down to the right speed. See, now you're, now you're starting to get that mid corner speed and now you're self-adjusting with your brakes to the right speed you need to be in the corner. See how that works? Perfect, that's how we want it. Is now you have a sense of how much you need to brake, which is good. Let it out, let it out, all the way. There we go. Stay on the gas. Hold right, now on the brakes, hard, hard, hard. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful, now hold it. 
Hold it, hold it, hold it. There we, yes! Beautiful, that was perfect. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. No, too slow, too slow, too slow. Work it in, 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 in. Now let it out, let it out, let it out. Yeah, get it all the way out, yes! Yes, now bring it back left. No brakes, no brakes, no brakes, no brakes. Not for this speed, go, 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 direct. Go, 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 turn it. That's what we want. Nice. All right, now we're gonna need brake here, right? And then we're gonna let this group by. Ah, uh, don't do that with your hand, yup. Uh-huh. It's a bad habit. Yeah, let all these guys by if you can. There we go. All right, we're good. And we're back after the second session here at Turn 8 Racing at Laguna Seca with Fast Sideways. And uh, this is gonna be some final thoughts. So we've gone out for the half day. I'm gonna let you do your own self-analysis since Fast Sideways is all about <laughs> teaching someone how to think around a racetrack. Go ahead and tell me your thoughts. How do you think you did and what do you think you need to improve on for the rest of the day? Yeah, I absolutely, I absolutely did a lot better. Um, I picked up a lot more speed. I had a little bit more trust in my car and I braked less, right? Yep. Uh, for me, what really helped is hearing uh, a professional, right, tell me all of the limits of my car and that I wasn't even close to what it could have done. Um, so hearing you constantly telling me when to break and when not to break especially helped a lot. Um, listening out for, knowing what to listen out for now with my tires, that when I hear the screech noise it's not a bad thing. Uh -huh. But then also analyzing myself of, okay, why does that make me hesitant, right? It's like, yeah. oh, usually that's right before a car accident. So understanding that that's different in the sense yeah. of doing it on purpose, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, a lot of the times when I was on the track, like we had the microphones and you could hear me talking to myself a lot of like, uh -huh. okay, no, don't break. Okay, yes. turn, okay, harder, okay, gas. Yeah, so um, at the at the end of the session, she actually like, all the inputs that I've been providing for the first two sessions, it started to click and connect. And I just shut up and I let her talk to herself and talk herself through it. And she was moving at a pace that faster than what I was trying to set for her. So she started getting comfortable and working into it. And also with the same analysis of, what do you do as you start to speed up and your overall speed increases? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I wouldn't have been able to do that without your input and without you being able to tell me that. Even not never being in my car, like the front wheel drive and yeah. everything. So that really helps, so thank you. Yeah, and next session, I'm gonna take her out for a ride along in my race car so she gets a little bit of a thrill ride and see what a car can really, really do once you start pushing it to its limits. Now, I don't want you to go out in your <laughs> session and try any of that afterwards, but. I won't. Yeah, I gotta take this one back home. Yeah, exactly. So hopefully it'll give you a sense of, uh, of what cars are kind of capable Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Would you recommend this to another person? Absolutely. Without a doubt. Um, I feel like I've done the lead and follows a couple of times compared to having somebody in my car telling me about my car. Uh, it makes a huge difference and it gives me a lot more confidence to have more fun. Where can the people find you if they want your uh, teaching? So you can find me at any Turn 8 track event. Come out to any of this. We actually provide discounts to anyone att attending a Turn 8 day. Uh, if not, we can come out to anywhere you want in California. We have instructors all over California for any track. Highly experienced instructors with years of racing experience. Go to FastSideways.com if you're interested in that. We also provide car control clinics. Car control clinics, I would highly recommend anyone looking to get faster on the racetrack. You're not gonna do that without knowledge of car control, and that's what we instill in you there. We can also do a full course training day, either at Streets of Willow at, or at the Thunder Hill Two Mile. That's four people, four instructors, one-on-one -on -one for eight hours. You have the entire racetrack and a skid pad all to yourself. We take the concepts from the skid pad and apply them on the racetrack in real time on multiple sets of different tires, figuring out grip limits, functions of different tires, different compounds, uh, how to ride uh, car control on the limits, control oversteer, translating that to the track, and it's just eight hours of drilling it all day long. So that I would highly recommend that as well. Um, come out to any of those Fast Sideways classes, you're bound to get faster.